Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. New England clam chowder is on the menu today. I used to do this when I worked for Howard Johnson in 3,000 gallon batch. Not exactly like this, but uh, I want to show you how to do it. I have some bacon here, a couple of slices of bacon, two, three slices. I should have about probably, uh, probably half a cup. Yeah, about half a cup of bacon here with a little bit of olive oil, maybe one, one tablespoon of olive oil. I want that to fry for a few minutes, three, four minutes. And then after we're gonna put leek in it. I have one leek here, cut it in half. That's what you do to expose the center of the leek. That's where the dirt is, so we wash it. Okay. That's probably two cups of leek here. I like leek, you can put onion if you don't have leek, it's okay. On top of the leek, I'm going to put some garlic. And usually I crush the garlic and peel it fine, but you can also do it with this. As you can see, to do garlic this way, you can see here the amount of garlic. You can even do it the other way if you want to see the inside. And here I will have, have a large load of garlic, probably a good two teaspoons of garlic here. You can of course crush it by hand as I do usually, but it's another way of doing it. So I think my bacon is about fine now. So, lick goes in it, the garlic. And I want to cook that for a minute or so. Together. I'll put a little bit of fresh thyme in it. I have from my garden, so like a teaspoon. And jalapeno pepper. Always test your jalapeno pepper when you do it because sometimes I use those and they have about the taste of green pepper. And some of the time it kind of blow your mind. This one has a bit of a kick, not too much. So you can adjust the quantity that you want to put in there. For me, I'm putting the whole thing here, which is probably like two, three tablespoons. This again, I stir it. I'm going to put two cups here of clam juice and uh, probably a cup of water. And I have about half a pound of potato here. Two potato, I'm gonna cut them into dice, about half inch. So about the same amount that I have of leek. So this is the New England clam chowder. I used to have a restaurant in New York called La Potagerie on Fifth Avenue. I used to do the Manhattan clam chowder with vegetable, you know, tomato, vegetable, and all that, quite different. That, the classic New England. So again, about two cups of potato. Okay, here you're going to have eventually to adjust for salt. Of course, so I have about probably a good half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. When I do a lot of cooking, I know I want to use freshly, freshly ground pepper. So if I do a lot, so I know I need some. So I use that type of little coffee grinder so to do fresh pepper ahead. That's it. So this, ooh, very strong. So I have freshly ground pepper here. I could probably have a teaspoon or so in there. This is it. And one thing that I forgot to do was to put flour. I was going to put some flour right on top of the leek. 
When you want to take liquid out of a, a bowl like this, very often what you do is to go directly into your stock like this and grab liquid, you see. This is a bit, um, okay. I will dial it. A couple of tablespoons of flour in it. Remember, when I did the, when I did the lick, I could have done directly into the lick, sprinkle it on top, and that would be, have been easy to do. But yeah, that's another way of doing it. You don't want to put the flour right in there here because it probably would form into lump. This now will come to a boil. Boil gently for like about 20 minutes. And some corn. I put a bit of corn in my chowder because I like corn and I think it goes well with it. So when you cut corn like that fresh, be sure your finger are not higher than the corn. It goes here and you pivot it. When you cut it with the knife, don't put your knife straight like this. It's hard. You have to cut. You see, it's easy to cut like this. You know, the motion of a knife. That is the motion of cutting rather than just crushing. You can do it, of course, another way by uh, by putting this straight down and doing it the other way. Those are fresh corn and there is nothing like... And when corn like this, yeah, will give you a cup, about a cup of corn. So we'll put that at the end because I don't want to cook the corn more than like one minute. Just bring them to a boil at the end with the cream. You can see the texture that he has here. It's just slightly oily. I will test it for salt. I think it's fine now. Cover this. Lower the heat, 20 minutes. Okay, my shader is nice and thick here, the way I want it. So now I'm putting my corn in there. And I just want that to come to a boil with the clam. I had two cans of uh, 10 ounce inch of baby clam here cooked. Of course you can do that with uh, fresh clam. Take a long time to cook for the clam. That would be enough for six. I'm going to bring that to a boil. Now it came back to a good boil. Now I'll finish it with cream. Uh, a good half a cup of, uh, of heavy cream here. You can even be a bit more generous with your cream if you want, but that's fine. So here it is. New England clam chowder. I put a bit of chai for color on top here. Okay, my New England clam chowder. Happy cooking.